Dwayne Johnson reveals he and his family test positive to COVID-19 and it's been challenging. Advising people to stay disciplined, boost their immune system, commit to wellness and wear your face masks. My wife Lauren, as well as my two baby girls and myself, we have all tested positive for COVID-19. And I could tell you that this has been one of the most challenging and difficult things we have ever had to endure as a family. And, um, and for me personally too as well. And, and, and I've gone through some doozies in the past. I've gotten knocked about and got my ass kicked a little bit in the past with some challenges, but, but testing positive for COVID-19 um, is much different than overcoming nasty injuries or, 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 or being evicted or even being broke, which I have been uh, more than a few times. Um, and the reason why I feel like this is different is, is because my number one priority is to always protect my family protect my children, my loved ones. By the way, I know I speak for all of you guys. It is our number one priority. All of you guys around the world, you always want to protect your family and your babies. Um, so, and I wish it was only me who tested positive, um, but it wasn't, it was my entire family. So this one was a real kick in the gut. But I am happy to tell you guys that we as a family are good. We are on the other end of it. We're on the other side, we are no longer contagious, and we are, thank God, we are healthy. And we've gotten through COVID-19 stronger and healthier. And, you know, believe me, I am counting my blessings because like all of us, we all uh, have, we all have been hit by this thing, um, whether it is people we know, family we know, loved ones we know, friends we know. Um, so we are counting our blessings right now because we're well aware that it isn't always the case that you get on the other end of uh, COVID-19 stronger and healthier. Um, I have had some of my best friends have lost their parents, their loved ones uh, to this virus that has that is so incredibly relentless and unforgiving and it is insidious. We are counting our blessings, um, but we are good. And, you know, I, I gotta tell you, you know, some of the silver linings out of this, and I'm always trying to look for silver linings when challenges come my way is um, generally uh, babies and little children um, can often have little to no symptoms at all. So for our babies, Jazzy and Tia, it was, um, they had a little sore throat uh, the first couple of days, but other than that, they bounced back and and they, uh, it, it's been life as normal. Uh, happy babies running around and playing, uh, but we have isolated ourselves as a family. It's what we had to do. But Lauren and I, it was a little bit different uh, for Lauren and I. We, we had a rough go, but we got through it. And again, we got through it as a family. We are stronger, we are better, and we did it together. We picked up COVID-19 from very close family friends. And then someone would ask that, why I why is it that when um, Nigerian celebrities come out to speak about their COVID-19, we don't take like... them seriously? Do you see how this guy gave us detail for the Thank world? You. Like, he gave us every, he, he broke it down. He told you some of the challenges he faced. He told you some of the things he faced mentally, emotionally, mm. as a father. And it is you know? if they also face peculiar to their own family, um, not playing understand? to the gallery. Do you understand? Like, he gave you everything. So there's, how, how on earth would I look at this and be like, if, if it's if it's not true, then it's great acting, Oscar Oscar deserving. Actually, do you understand? Because I just feel like that's the same thing that Nigerians need to take a toll from or take a cue from and learn from. That when you need to speak about things that affect people worldwide, you need to show more emotions. You need to give more information and don't be holding back on certain things. So I appreciate the way he came out to talk about it and the advice that he gave to everyone out there about how to keep safe, how there are different um, um, peculiarities to certain people that have mm -hmm. the virus and all that. So it's amazing and I just want that and I hope this just serves as a point of contact to everyone who still feels like there's no COVID-19. It, it is still there. People are still getting it. Is it still as rampant as it was? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Is it still as scary as it was? Maybe not because yes, I can remember the still pandemonium. Anyway, yeah, it is still so. dangerous but you know, 
the fear, the mm -hmm. fear at the beginning. Now we know we're beginning to make progress one way or another. Mm -hmm. You know, it is not a death sentence anymore. You know, back then we used to think like, once you have it, you're going to die for sure. But right now, I think people are beginning to get more educated. People are beginning to get more aware. Mm. But are we still keeping safe? I do not think so, which is why I like the fact that he said, wear your mask. He still told you the things to do to still get out of this. So it's amazing. And um, big shout out to the Johnson families, and um, I'm glad they're safe and healthy now. Yeah, I'm definitely glad they're safe, and um, so he says they're in a good place now health-wise, so I'm glad. I mean, the place that got me laughing was when he said he was, he's been broke as well sometime, yeah. More but I just want to reiterate what he has said, which is boost <clears throat> your immune system. I, mm. I've said that over and over again. If you felt mine was on this table, she would definitely laugh. Boost your immune system. Wear your face masks, live a healthy life, like do everything possible to ensure that your immune system is on a top mm. notch. Now that includes eating healthy, of course, your vegetables, your um, um, fruits and all that. And also, I mean, and one thing, C's. yeah, one thing they also say is when they ask you to eat healthy, this is expensive. I don't think it's as expensive as people make it out to mm -hmm. be. It is when you want to eat the food of 10 people at the same time, that is when it becomes expensive. And I don't think that's a healthy lifestyle mm. anyway. So I think we should actually take a step back, think of what we are eating. Are you just eating rice and loading rice and then at the end of the year you eat one small piece of you meat can't even you load rice it. but how do you mix up your rice do you mix up your rice so with veggies i think we should all? i mean immune boosters vitamin c um um what's this thing what's they call the um all oh, the su supplements yeah mm. take a lot of supplements and just be ready wash your hands wear your face masks and be ready to fight it when it comes that's if it comes i'm just saying yeah so that's basically it for me. And of course, I'm happy for his family. Like he said, people have lost loved ones. So it's mm. something that we need to be very sensitive about. And I like that you also touched about the difference between how the celebrities come out over there, talk about their own case when they encounter COVID-19 and how our own here, it feels like, mm, I just want to make the news anyway. So there is a huge difference. So forgive us when we probably don't believe you yeah and i mean moving moving on um you also talked about it um not being as rampant anymore but you know the dangerousness if there's a word like that of this disease has to do with whatever it meets in your own system mm. so it could i could have the disease and um i get better maybe mm. i have a good immune system and the next person who we thought is actually okay and has has a good um health um health care or health system might not be able to survive it and mm. it, it, the person could get it based on my own carelessness mm -hmm. so because of that reason because of the fact that how this you can't predict how this virus is going to react in somebody else's body is why sure. we still need to be very careful and that is why it's still very dangerous to me as a person so um i just to all of us I really hope we get to that point where we can say COVID-19 is gone. And How I know it will happen. I know it will happen. Question. I mean, we beat wild polio, so yeah, we'll do this one. Yeah? Ebola's still there.